the peace process? At the time, uh, I believed and still believe that they had a very uh, considerable arsenal of uh, weapons, assault rifles, AK-47s and the like, in Belfast. And unless they were planning some Tet offensive uh, type of coup, then they really had no need of further arms. Senior security and government sources from the time have told us they believe the IRA wanted to police the peace process. In other words, deal with dissent in their own community. They wanted so-called clean guns so there would be no forensic history that could be traced back to them. That meant they could deny responsibility for murders and continue to argue that the ceasefire was intact. The NIO called this internal housekeeping. We believe we've found a victim of that policy of internal housekeeping. A man has been shot dead in Republican West Belfast as he was sitting in a car. Joe O'Connor, a father of three, was in the real IRA. He was shot ten times at close range by two gunmen. The IRA denied they did it, but his family said at the time they were convinced they were responsible. There are strong indications that guns from America were used to kill Joe O'Connor. At his inquest, a police officer said the weapons were a .38 revolver and a Glock 9mm pistol. Both were clean guns. The officer said they had no known or subsequent history of use and said there was a possibility they'd come from Florida. That's backed by Mike Logan. He's told us he was responsible for any Glock sent here after the ceasefire. There were several situ situations that came up after 1999 that were Glocks were found. One of them was the killing of Joe O'Connor. A, a Glock was, uh, you know, sp supposed to be one of the guns that were were used against him. The odds are pretty high that that, 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 that that weapon, one of the weapons we used to kill Joe O'Connor, came from here. Joe O'Connor's family believe the police inquiry into his murder was thwarted by political considerations related to the peace process. In the past few weeks, the police ombudsman has agreed to investigate their complaint. We've been told that the IRA needed clean guns with no forensic history, uh, which would not be traced back to them in order to police the peace, uh, to deal with dissidents, drug dealers, feuds.